Hi guys, welcome again to our Micro C Pro for Peak Tutorials for Absolute Beginner Series. This is Tutorial 81, Ethernet UDP Based Control and Monitoring. In Tutorial 79 and 80, we learned how to control any device connected to a Peak microcontroller from a remote location using a simple web browser from a PC, a tablet, or even a mobile phone anywhere in the world in real time. We designed a simple web browser to control a motor and a light bulb connected to our peak microcontroller using relays. By clicking on the buttons on the web browser, we could switch on or off the light bulb and the motor. In this tutorial, we're gonna take this further we're going to design a PC GUI software using C Sharp to control a motor and a light bulb. We're going to also read periodically and display the temperature and plot a real-time chart. With a graphical user interface software, the possibilities are limitless. We could easily create some sort of SCADA system by directly interacting with devices such as sensors valves, pumps, motors, and more through human machine interface or HMI software. We can also easily record events into a log file, send notification messages by email or SMS, or raise some audible alarms. This is our graphical interface software. These are the devices connected to the peak microcontroller. We've got a light bulb, a motor, and a temperature sensor. We've got a simple menu. You can click on connect. To connect to the peak microcontroller acting as a server using UDP protocol. We've got settings. You can change the skin of the application. Did the coffee skin. We've got blue, green, light blue, white, we've got pink, we've got also a black theme, okay, we're gonna use the light blue. This is the IP address, you can set the IP address of your server, this is gonna be the IP address of your peak microcontroller and the port number that you're gonna communicate with. In this example, we're gonna use this port you can use any free port number. Click on save. This is the temperature. If you click on the light bulb, it's gonna switch on the light bulb connected to the peak microcontroller using this relay. You can also switch on the fan. It's gonna rotate the fan. If you click again, it's gonna switch it off. Click again, it's gonna switch it on. The temperature as well. When the temperature changes, it's going to be periodically updated on your graphical user interface. Temperature now is 19. Going to decrease it to 7. The temperature variation is also displayed live on this chart. The schematic is the same as in the previous tutorial. We just added a temperature sensor, the LM317, to analog zero of the peak microcontroller. You can easily create a PC board for this project as we have learned from our PC board tutorials. This video was sponsored by PCBWay, a Chinese-based PC board prototyping and assembly with super quality. In this month of November and December, PCB Way at the shopping festival, they are offering free prototyping for Christmas PCBs from October 25th to December 10th. If you are planning to design a Christmas tree PCB, this is the time as you could get it for free if you order before the 10th of December. From November 21st to November 23rd, 
They are also offering free gift for happy Thanksgiving. You could get 500 PCB way beans for free that you could redeem for these cool devices like this ESP32 development board, this popular FTDI USB to TTL serial converter and so on. All you need to do is just to post some photos and videos about your Thanksgiving dinner. For more info, please check the link below this video description. In this part one, we're gonna write the code with micro C Pro for P compiler. And in part two, we're gonna design the graphical user interface PC software. In future tutorials, we're gonna write the code with microchip XCH compiler with MPLAB code configurator. We're gonna also do the same with flow code and Arduino. Let's start a new project. Next, we're gonna name it UDP Ethernet control. Specify the location. We're gonna use the PIC 18A45K22. The device clock is gonna be 8 megahertz. Next. Next. Click finish. We're gonna write some few comments about the project. These are the definition of the ENC28J60 Ethernet controller. The chip select pin is gonna be connected to RC1 and the reset pin to RC0. You left to give a MAC address to the Ethernet board. This is gonna be our MAC address and this is gonna be our IP address. We're gonna use 192.168.8.5. This is gonna be the IP address of the PIC microcontroller. It has to be in the same range as your local network. This is gonna be the IP address of the remote PC. It's gonna be 192.168.8.103. And if you intend to set up connectivity beyond your local network, then the DNS, the gateway, and the subnet mask must also be set here. In the main loop, we're gonna define some few variables. These are the variables we're gonna use for analog to digital converter. We're gonna configure port A as analog. This is where we're gonna connect our analog sensor on port RA0. We're gonna configure port C as digital input output. For our Ethernet controller, port D, we're gonna configure it as a digital input output. This way we're gonna connect our relays. We're gonna configure port D as output. We're gonna clear it. And we're gonna configure RA0 as input pin. We're gonna start by initializing the SPI and then we're gonna initialize the Ethernet module. The next thing we're gonna initialize the ADC. Then in the while one loop, this way we're gonna process data continuously. We're gonna use the SPI Ethernet do packet to process data continuously. We're gonna write the received code in SPI Ethernet user UDP. With micro C Ethernet controller library, you have to declare the SPI Ethernet user TCP as well, even if you're not gonna use it. In this case, we're only gonna use UDP protocol. The first thing we're gonna check the correct port is used. Then we're gonna extract the received byte with SPI Ethernet get byte and switch on the required relay based on the digit received. If a one is received, we're gonna switch on the light bulb connected to port RT0. And if a two is received, we're gonna switch on the motor connected to port D1. And a three will switch both, while a zero will switch off both. Now we're gonna need to read the temperature and send it to the remote PC. In this case, every two seconds, we need a non-blocking call. We can't use a delay here because we might miss out some data from the PC while executing the two second delay. The best way is to use a timer interrupt. Every two seconds after an interrupt occurs, this flag variable is gonna be set. And when this flag is set, we're gonna get the 10 bit result of the ADC conversion. 
Then we're gonna convert this ADC value to temperature in Celsius. We're gonna convert it to string. Then we're gonna send it to remote PC from UDP port 10001 to UDP port 10001. We're gonna use this SPI Ethernet send UDP. The first parameter is destination IP address, then the port, the data that we're gonna send, and the size of the data. Then we're gonna reset the flag. To generate the two second timer interrupt, we're gonna use the timer calculator. The device is peak 18 series. The MCU clock frequency is 8 megahertz. We're gonna use timer zero, and it's gonna be two second. Calculate. This is the code that is gonna give us two second delay. Copy to clipboard. Gonna declare the bit variable. So in the interrupt, we just gonna set the flag variable flag equals to one. The main loop, we are gonna reset the flag variable. Then we are gonna initialize timer zero. Let us compile, build. build just need to disable this library not using the tft screen build again finish successfully let us run the simulation run let us run the pc software connect click on the bulb to switch on the bulb it's rotating Click on the bulb again, it's gonna switch it off. Click on the fan, click on the fan again, it's gonna switch on the fan. Click on the bulb, it's gonna switch on the bulb. The temperature is also updated every two seconds. Gonna try to in increase the temperature to 16. After two seconds, it's gonna be updated updated to 16 increase it to 18 and the temperature graph is plotted live I'm gonna increase it okay increase it to 46 so it's updated I'm gonna Start decreasing it. It's updated accordingly. You can pause the graph. You can resume it. I'm gonna stop the fan. I'm gonna stop the light as well. And that's all guys for this tutorial. In part 2 we're gonna design this PC graphical user interface. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in part 2. Thank you.